Scott from Neverhedge back for another stock update. Today we're talking about Coinbase, stock symbol coin. And right now we're sitting at right around 337. Let's get right into their fundamentals. So this is from CNBC. Uh, revenue in the period jumped to about 1.8 billion from 1. Point, or 190 million in the same quarter a year earlier. Coinbase said in a press release, adding that the re results are preliminary and unaudited. Income grew to between 730 million and 800 million from 31.9 million a year ago. Coinbase said it has 56 million verified users. And here we can see their last two years of quarterly revenue. See, it's just going literally to the moon. Uh, that's because Bitcoin is going to the moon and their the revenue through fees you know obviously they get more money when bitcoin is more expensive which is one of the pros to owning uh, coinbase is that so long as bitcoin is going up their revenue is going to increase dramatically so now we're on the new york times this is from yesterday uh, at 86 billion coinbase's market value exceeds that of the stock exchanges it its shares will trade on Nasdaq's market cap is $26 billion, while ICE, the parent company of the NYSE, is valued at $67 billion. And by the way, Goldman Sachs' market value is $111 billion. That's crazy. Coinbase is profitable, taking in $322 million last year and an estimated $800 million in the first quarter of this year alone. It, is also, it also made significantly more revenue from trades, 0.6% than did Nasdaq, 0.009% and ICE 011%. <clears throat> but there are also giant risks. Coinbase benefited hugely from a run-up in cryptocurrencies prices in, in the recent months, and the company warned in its prospectus that its business was substantially dependent on prices of crypto assets and volume of transactions conducted on our platform. Skeptics think competition will eventually bring Coin Coinbase's fat margins down. Although Armstrong asserted that he hasn't seen any sign of that happening yes, yet longer term, yes, I do think there should be there could be fee compression just like every other asset class. So we're going next to Gunnar Yerv, C COO of First Digital Trust, says the Coinbase listing is a huge step for the digital asset industry from both a mainstream adoption and regulatory point of view, signifying the acceptance of cryptocurrency business in traditional finance. Other exchanges following Coinbase's footsteps are entirely based on their readiness to go public. This will pave the way for Coinbase's competitors to join the IPO movement. Kraken will most likely be next. So another thing I wanted to get to on here was Coinbase Pro and this is a pretty awesome uh, platform for individuals who want to buy cryptocurrency with uh, reduced fees and businesses who can use this to accept crypto as a form of payment for their business. Uh, just using this kind of like a, a PayPal integration on their website or in their uh, in their physical store. Kind of pro, you're actually buying the, the actual Bitcoin, whereas Robinhood, you're not really buying any crypto. And this is from... Uh, the making of a millionaire.com. This is an article about why you shouldn't buy Bitcoin on Robinhood. And so we're going right here. With Robinhood, you don't really buy any crypto. You're just buying the IOUs that track the value of cryptocurrency. That's how Robinhood is able to do zero commission crypto trading. They're not real. And if you don't really own any cryptocurrency, you can't withdraw it. There's a simple saying that in in the crypto communities that explains it perfect. Not your keys, not your coins. The keys are referring to the keys in your wallet. With services like Robinhood, you don't have access to your actual, actual crypto wallet. This means you can't withdraw your money as cryptocurrency and put it to use. It's just stuck there until you liquidate it back into traditional currency. In contrast, if you hold the keys to your wallet, you can move the money into what's called a cold wallet. Basically means you're taking your crypto off the internet and out of the prying hands of scammers and hackers. So as far as price targets for this stock, if Bitcoin keeps climbing on the trajectory that it's going on, there's no reason why this couldn't jump to $800 to $1,000 if Bitcoin goes to 100 k And this is closely tracking the price of Bitcoin. So figure right now, let's go to the price of Bitcoin, 63,049.99. We're currently sitting at $337. You have to be kind of careful with this one because as Bitcoin continues to rise, so will this stock most likely. But once the bottom falls out, I think both of these are going to tank hard. That's pretty much it for this stock. Uh, I will continue to provide more updates as I find them. Thank you so much for watching this one. See you in the next video.